Hey everyone. So I did say one of the reasons why I got the Alienware is for its upgrade ability, right? So what I am going to do today is open it up and show you guys how that works. So right here to my right is my Gigabyte Aero laptop, which is also pretty upgradable and has some very good upgrade ability as well as the Alienware. The big difference is the Gigabyte uses like those special type of um, torque screws while the Alienware just uses your regular Phillips screwdrivers. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the Gigabyte because what I want to do is I'm going to grab one of the SSDs that's inside here since I'm not going to be using this as much the extra SSD that I have in here f that I have all my pictures and videos saved so I can put it into the Alienware. I'm not sure if I mentioned it to you guys on in the unboxing but this Alienware that I ordered from Dell um, I ordered it with a one terabyte of memory and so I'm gonna add another terabyte right here from the gigabyte so uh, let's do this Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my 36-piece precision screwdriver set that I bought at Best Buy. I can't remember how about how long ago. And, man, I'm just holding my camera. That's why you see the wire. That's from my lapel mic. Let me show you guys what kind of screwdriver or screw head you're going to need to open up the Gigabyte Arrow. So with my Gigabyte Aero 15, I'm going to need one of these um, screw heads, as you can see. It's like for the Torx. Let's see if this shows right there. You guys see that? Whereas uh, for the Alienware, all I need is this. A regular Phillips screw, screw head. So I'm just going to switch up the heads on my screwdriver so I can access my internals on the arrow and grab the SSD card so I can put it in here. So before I begin some more, the arrow has a total of one, two, and they're different sizes. So I usually use this, my old pillbox, to um, put the uh, screwdrivers in so I don't get them mixed up because the screws in the front are a little shorter than the screws in the back and the middle so you have these two in the front right here one two and then off to the sides right here on the corners three four then five six on this side and then on the inside middle seven eight and then here in the back corners nine 10 and then the middle back 11 12 so you have to remove a total of 12 torx screws and by you i mean me i have to remove a total of 12 torx screws so another thing that i have um in my little toolbox is this uh, really strong magnet that i got from my old job at 24 hour fitness and um it's a really strong magnet, so I use it for picking up screws that sometimes don't pop out all, all right away, see? So I can just get the screws with no issues and uh, make sure I don't lose them. Okay, so I will note here that um, if I didn't mention it in the unboxing, is that the build quality on this Gigabyte Aero is probably a little bit better than Alienware as far as materials go. Uh, the bottom piece here and also the back or the top part of the laptop where the screen is is all made out of CNC aircraft gate aluminum or aluminum. As you can see here, that magnet just sticks onto it. This is all mostly metal and this is plastic on the Alienware as you can see. Except for probably certain parts like here near the side or maybe it's just because it's trying to pick up on those screws right there. And so here is the uh, internals of the Gigabyte. And like I said, this is the bad fan. 
this is the one for the GPU and this is the one that has to get fixed or was it this one anyway see so you have your memory slots here on the gigabyte and then you have the uh, SSD drive right here and the Sabrent is I think the extra one that I got because the one that's default by gigabyte is the Intel one yeah see this Intel one right here is the one that came with the laptop and that's what's advertised in the uh well that's what's in the advertisement is that fast intel ssd and then the sabrent is the one terabyte drive extra as you guys could probably already tell right there it says one terabyte and to remove it all you need is the uh a regular phillips screwdriver or screw head right there okay i have the ssd drive right there the one terabyte from sabrent removed from my gigabyte laptop and now we're going to open up the uh, Alienware. I believe the battery on the Gigabyte's laptop is slightly bigger than the one in the Alienware. This is a 99 watt or 94.24 hour. I thought it was 99. Anyways, it's one of the larger laptop batteries for a, a slim and light uh, creator laptop. Okay, moving on to our Alienware. We have one, two, three four five six seven eight screws it looks like that we have to remove and they're all phillips head screwdrivers like i said and i'm going to use my current pull box right here to put the screws in that way i don't get them mixed up just in case they're different lengths or sizes although it seems like they should be all the same size or length but I'm not going to take any chances. Okay, so, so much for the upgrades or the accessibility being easier on a Dell because of the Phillips head screwdriver. These screws here in the corner are s super hard to get rid of there. It's like they wouldn't even come off, period. It's like uh, they're warped inside there. As you guys can see, it's like they're bent in there. Maybe they're meant to be like that and be stuck onto there. And uh, the one thing you also have to take note of is the other two in the front here are a little bit shorter or a lot shorter than the two in the middle, as you can see right there. And then the ones in the back are even shorter than the ones in the front my camera can focus on that and then uh, here's the reason why um, I wanted to get a laptop with a uh, upgradable RAM upgradable memory is because most manufacturers Dell included see they use a slower high density um, memory right here even though it is the DR5 from everything that I've read, DDR5, uh, 4800 megahertz, especially these like single-sided RAM is not as fast as the other type of RAM. And you can pause that and read it for yourself. And because DDR5 is kind of expensive and hard to get right now, I can wait until the prices for DDR5 go down. And I'll probably pick up like a 216 gigabyte sticks of uh ddr5 um pc 5200 or something like that faster than the 4800 speed here are your memory or here are your ssd drives right here um uh, not sure which one is populated it looks like it's this one this is the one with one terabyte and it had one terabyte and it has the heat spreaders and this is the empty one right here where I will be putting the Sabrent drive if it fits. You can also upgrade the uh, Wi-Fi card just like you can here with the uh, Gigabyte Arrow. Okay, so let's see how this goes. I'm gonna try to put that SSD drive into this empty slot right here. And then in the future, I'm gonna upgrade these slow DDR5 
5 PC 4800 megahertz into faster like DDR5 5800 megahertz or something like that. And uh, yeah, I was right. The battery on the uh, Alienware is an 86 watt hour. So the Alienware has more powerful components, but it's got a slightly smaller battery, at least in watt hours, than the Gigabyte right here. 94.24 watt hours and the Alienware is 86 point or 86 watt hours. Okay, so my Sabrent one terabyte SSD did slot in pretty easily. And if you guys can see there's labels right here where it says SSD two. And then right here, it says SSD one right there. And here are the heat spreaders and you can see they're copper heat spreaders and you have to remove this uh, like tape before you can put them on top of your SSD drive. So I removed the tape and now I'm going to put it back onto here like so. And it's stuck onto there now. And then screw it back into place and screw everything back into place actually. So that is that. Okay, so that went off without a hitch except for uh, removing the bottom cover and trying to get these uh, screws out, which I still couldn't get them out. So I'm just going to leave them in there and hope for the best. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to put these uh, covers back on on the Gigabyte Arrow and the uh, Alienware. And then we're going to boot up the Alienware and then... Um, check out how it looks in a Windows uh, Task Manager or something like that. So one thing to note with the Alienware when you put the bottom cover back on, make sure uh, everything snaps back into place like so. I think I have everything back snapped into place. And then you can start screwing, putting the screws back in and screwing it down into place. Okay, so now they are fully assembled again. All the back covers are on. The Gigabyte Aero 15 OLED is definitely easier once you have the proper, you know, screw type or screw head. It's much easier to take apart or disassemble than the Alienware. And the biggest issue was because of these two screws. I don't know if that was how they are out of the factory or whoever had assembled this laptop put them on too tight and uh, warped these or they're just meant not to be taken out but once uh, you get the all these screws out which is what I had to do and then uh, I used a flat head like this to like pry them apart to pry this part and hopefully I didn't like scratch it um, doesn't seem like I did so yeah that's that I am pretty sure I turned off my Alienware, but as soon as I popped open the lid, the uh, Alienware started coming right back on. And it recognized my face, so it already automatically unlocked the Gigabyte. Um, I had to press the power button first for the Gigabyte. I could have sworn I turned off fast boot and I put in options for hibernation mode which out of the gate, this does not have um, hibernation mode. If you want to know how to do that and put them in hibernation mode or get more options in the power button menu, um, I'll leave a link in the description for a video for that. So the Gigabyte uses a fingerprint sensor, which I wish the uh, Alienware has because that's how I pretty much log in to my bank banking sites and stuff like that. I use the uh, my finger or fingerprint sensor. Uh, one thing we didn't check in the unboxing is this. The uh, the logos, the back of the Alienware, the back Alienware head um, glows. And then you have that Tron ring right there on the bottom where the vents and the ports are. Whereas on the arrow, the arrow logo lights up. And also there's some lights here on the bottom for the arrow logo right there so that's pretty cool here's a much better example of it right there as you guys can see the alienware with the alienware head and the uh, tron ring and then the arrow 
logo up top and then the arrow logo on the bottom right there okay here we are in windows we're gonna go to a folder open up the folder and then we're gonna go to man this screen is pretty bright brightness on the screen is i think a little over 400 uh nits it's uh, almost the same brightness as the um gigabyte arrows brightness we're just gonna go to this pc and uh there you go it sees it i have os c drive and then new volume d right there so it is recognized and uh installation went pretty good so that is that for the follow-up on the Alienware as far as its upgradability and uh, more videos to come on um, different things like performance, uh, video editing, what's it like for work. And like I said, I don't do a lot of gaming, so you guys are going to probably have to, I apologize, you guys are going to have to look for other videos on YouTube for that because like I said, I'm very busy and don't really have time for gaming the time that i do have i try to make videos for you guys and other t my other times is for me to try to get myself back into shape and working out and also my clients to get them into shape so that is it if you guys have found this video helpful or informative please like and subscribe follow me on instagram at the workout geek for all my latest happenings and great workout tips until next time, take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day.